This is me, Leonard the Goldfish. This is where I live. Exciting, right? This is where I want to live. The Seattle Aquarium. My best friend. My favorite meal. Actually, my every meal. My owner, Jimmy. Anyway, maybe you've already heard my story. It's the classic depressed goldfish tries to get into a large aquarium but is denied because they think he's not cool or special enough. How many times have we heard that? That's why I came up with the magical words. Let Leonard in. Let me take you through some of the things I've done to get in. First off, here's a TV spot. And that's when they told me goldfish aren't welcome here. They said the kids wouldn't find us entertaining. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> Sorry, Leonard. I had a herring stuck in my throat or something. Maybe a couple of squid. I don't know. Oh, gosh. I'd give anything to be in the aquarium. Hey, Leonard. Can I tell you a secret? It's not all fun and games in here. Really? Kidding! It is all fun and games in here! <laughs> Here's one of the radio spots. I got electrocuted a little when they first lowered the microphone into my tank, but I've recovered. Hello, it's me, Leonard the Goldfish. Still stuck in the suffocating fish tank with fake castle and bubble-making scuba diver. No offense, guys. Yeah, this is the time of day I fantasize about getting into the Seattle Aquarium. You know, amongst the cool octopuses and rockfish and wolf eels. But no, I'm just not special enough. You know, I bet right now my old buddies are in the aquarium playing Marco Polo in front of the children. Gosh, that was always a fun game to play. Now when I'm in the mood to play, I'll yell out, Marco! Nothing. I get nothing back. Just one polo, one time. Oh, I'd love to hear it. Hey, and why would my owner put a footbridge in this tank? Did he think I was going to give up swimming from time to time and just start walking around? Like me and Bubble Making Scuba Diver are going to take a late night stroll across the footbridge? <sighs> Marco! Brought to you by LetLeonardIn.com, the Seattle Aquarium. Everybody wants in. From there, the Let Leonard In campaign really rolled out anything and everything to get people's attention. Because if there's one guy who deserves to be in the limelight, it's me. Billboards, transits, wallscapes, coffee sleeves, this little online pull-down thingy. Hey, check out this online ad. I do a cannonball. I was also in the newspaper. A new 120,000 gallon tank and no room for a one ounce goldfish. Real nice. Man, I was especially bitter that day. We even had some Let Leonard in protests at the popular downtown hangout Westlake Center. Oh look, a yo-yo. We even found our way into the Seafair Torchlight Parade. Here comes from the Seattle Aquarium, have you seen these great commercials on TV? Leonard the Goldfish, he's trying to get into the aquarium. He just doesn't think he's got quite enough pizzazz. But believe me, when you see Leonard out here floating down the street, he really does have pizzazz, and so does the Seattle Aquarium. Of course, there was LetLeonardIn.com. People could feed me, email the head of the Seattle Aquarium, or just watch me swim back and forth all day. Mesmerizing, isn't it? Oh, before I forget, they could also print out this poster off the website to put up in their cubicles or wherever. And how can the kids take me seriously if I don't have a MySpace page? So here it is, with YouTube links to my TV spots. I've made a lot of friends. Feels good to be loved by someone other than Bubble Making Scuba Diver. Well, that's all I've got, for now. I hear rumors that in a year or two, the Seattle Aquarium might actually let me in. But for now, I'll keep fighting the good fight and staring at the living room furniture. <sighs>